Hello everyone and welcome to the Close Contact YouTube channel. My name's Daz Scott. I'm going to be showing you how to navigate FL Studio 20 if you've not used it before. If you're interested in getting into making music, I'm going to show you the first steps without it, you know, overwhelming you too much. So let's open up FL Studio and have a look. So to start off, this part here. It's called a step sequencer and what you can do with this is on the left hand side you have your sample packs if you get into packs open that up any of them here we'll just start with this drums we'll get ourselves a kick drum we'll just start with that drag that in and drop it and now what you can do with that is you can punch in your kicks like so, and if you go up to the top here, press pattern, press play. And you have a kick drum. And that's already assigned to a mixer channel, but to have your project organised is very important, especially when it starts to get big. So what I like to do is just type in kick, press a box here, pick a cover, any cover. Now you've got that colour coded, colour code your pattern, kick, the colour should be there that you've already selected, press enter. So now you've got a kick, go into your mixer channel, open up your mixer, and this number here is relevant to your mixer, so your kick will be on insert 1, if you press play it, and see it playing and then set one. So what you want to do is name that as well. Kick. Bring the volume down so you don't get any clipping or distortion. And now if you click on your pattern, you can paste it into your project. And here where it says track one, right click and auto name. And now if you press song instead of playing the pattern, it plays the kicks in the song. Like so. So next we want something else. Don't know yet. So let's have a look at our samples. Hi-hats. Grab that, that'll do it. Name it. Hat. Select the cover, and here's a wee trick, if you've got this highlighted, so it's green, if you press Ctrl L, it automatically assigns it to a mixer channel, so you don't need to type it in manually. Remember to bring the volume down slightly. Rename your part and your hearts in. Paste it into the song, and now you can punch in a hat. And now if you play this in the song, remember click song up the top, press play. Up the top here, this is your beats per minute. So it depends on what kind of music you're wanting to make. This is how many beats are in a minute. Turn it down to 128, press play. As you can hear, the song is now a lot slower. And you know what, I want another hat in there as well. So let's chuck something else in. If you scroll your mouse, send it to number two, where your hat is. And we'll just put a snare on there as well. Remember, open up a new pattern, snare, colour coder. Control L sends it to a mixer channel. 
these knobs here as well, this is just the volumes, so I'll show you that working. So if you press pattern, that's just a secondary volume knob. Instead of adjusting it on your mixer, me personally, I like to turn them all the way up here and then adjust the volume on the mixer. And the knob here on the left hand side of that volume one is a pan. So if you've got headphones on, you'll be able to hear this. And if you right click, you can reset it. So let's paste that into the song as well. Auto name. Play the song. And if for whatever reason you don't like that snare, what you can do is you can go, oh, I don't like the sound of that, go into your sample packs. You can click and drag so that it replaces the snare. So that's your samples, pretty much. So now what you've got in FL Studio as well is you've got your synthesizers. And if you've never used FL Studio before, this can be quite overwhelming. What I would recommend is just mess around with them, have fun. Um, we'll open up a keys, which is just a straightforward piano. Open up another pattern, color code it, enter, control L, sends it to a mixer again, if you press up here, this is your piano roll, so this actually punches in your melodies. Remember to keep your project nice and organised. The only other bit you need to know about right now if you're just starting off is your effects channels. You've got all your different options here. So you have an EQ, you have reverbs, you have delays. So I'll just show you that working. So I'll just pick and snare. That's your time, so like the the time the delay works. Cut off. So that's the delay on it. And we'll just put a bit of reverb on it as well. And that is the song. So let's have a listen to this. As I said earlier, you can adjust the volumes of different elements like that. And that's it. And that's your way to navigate FL Studio. Um, 
my advice would be just have fun, just enjoy yourself. Um, it's a learning process. Not everybody's a professional overnight. Um, I've been using the software for over ten years, so I've been using it a long time. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the Close Contact YouTube channel for more content. Hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. See you all later.